GW2 raid community is extremely toxic. GW2 raids are more like a business. Most of the time you will see more sellers than actual LFG groups, and some people on LFG just made brainless extreme demands. Like a guy who asked for 50 plus doom kill proof for a group on Largos. Or another group I've met where people were called idiots, baboons, and kitten on every step. This game used to be cool, but the end game is toxic now. From raids, to fractals, PvP, and even World v World. PvE open world is still okay. You do not get insulted. Exactly this. I remember a time in MMOs where raids weren't about numbers or builds or metas. It was all about, Alright, that dragon looks like a tough motherfucker, and you know that bastard's gonna drop something good. Let's go kill him. And then if you die, you come back and you keep trying and bring some more friends until you make it work. Not overanalyze the numbers on how to most efficiently kill the boss, or min-max your character. Reading has become too... automated, I guess. Rather than just being a party of adventurers murdering hobos, it feels like you're just another cog in the boss killing machine, and will be immediately replaced if there's the slightest deficiency. It feels more like a job than for fun. This is an ugly truth about raiding. There are raiders out there that are very awful persons. If you make a mistake and give, instead of giving you a constructive criticism by just telling you what to do, they will insult you slash call you names. Number one, I do not enjoy content where I am not expected to clear it without multiple failures first. I do not have time to train to play a game. I do not want failures on my part to potentially hurt others' enjoyment of the game, such as a missed mechanic leading to a party wipe. I do not want the failure of others to potentially hurt my enjoyment of the game, such as a missed mechanic leading to a party wipe. I do not want to wait to have fun, sitting around waiting for a group to form that is capable of tackling the content. I want to just jump right in and play. Five. I do not want to set aside hours to work on raids or have to be on at a specific time or day. I want to be in and out within a half hour or so, whatever time I, or day I show up. Basically what I want out of raids is to be able to open an LFG, either join a party that is already forming or start my own and have it filled within minutes, jump into an encounter, clear it without much risk of failure, and then move on to the next activity. Past week, I've been trying really hard to get into raid and learned as much st stuff, mechanics, rotations, and how to do stuff good doing DPS while you do mechanics and so on, and only managed to get 9 LI in the first week. The problem with raiding is that nobody will take you to the raid with them because you have no LI or KP. LI and KP are basically impossible to get without raiding, and with people that know what they're doing and also want the kill, including yourself of course, and you'll never get it with a random LFG training group because people just join them without even knowing what they're doing, just thinking they'll get carried in raids like it's fractals. Hell, you can even join a training group and sometimes and ask the commander to explain something and he won't even know what to say and say, let's Google it. That's how dumb training is. Now tell me to find a training guild. Those are literally inexistent. No one of them are active anymore training people, and I don't want to wait two days a week to train at one boss and still fail at it. People need to let the smaller raiders do content as well and get LI and KP, or otherwise they're never going to get them. Of course, if a guy fails miserably or just trash DPS, just kick him, but give him a chance. Raiding really isn't fucking rocket science, you know. If I have my first week of rating, can get 25k DPS on two and get him to 10% without a person dead, anyone can as long as they know what they're doing. Of course we waved at 10%, but we weren't in Discord or something to coordinate better or do an RC when people run to the 10% marker. Rating is full of these crybaby elitists that will just quit your party after you wipe once or twice. For me, that's just incredible. Like, how can three people quit after that? Raiding is extremely fun content. It's not as hard as many people would think. People just join it uninformed without knowing the mechanics of rotation before joining. After one week of raiding with a decent group that all knows what to do, I can literally do any boss in max five tries. But people need to know what to do. I've also seen a lot of people get tired really quick from trying to kill a boss. Isn't that the point of raiding? To overcome a really hard boss with hard mechanics and then get rewarded. That's why 
try. It's considered the hardest content in the game. You're not supposed to get in there in one try, and of course, as long as you're not part of some super elitist guild. TLDR. Raiders need to let guys without much kill proof or LI join them if they say they can do good, and there's always a kick from a squad button in case they don't perform. Training groups do nothing good. Training guilds are inexistent. Stop being douches and impatient. The issue will not be that raids are not easy enough. As I just saw recently, the raid community is literally gatekeeping in mindset and behavior to those actually trying to get into it. But your guest, Nike, just recently made a video in which he dramatically read Reddit posts of newcomers reporting their experiences. And except for two posts, which were also pretty short, all describe the hurdles that newcomers have to face. And instead of encouragement and support to find better raid circumstances, most comments were dismissive and totally ignored what the Reddit users have written, giving snark and sarcastic non-answers, which the Reddit post has already followed. So first, fuck you, Nike, you damn hypocrite, for perpetuating the elitist impression for newcomers and by enabling this shit. You are part of the problem! Once you offend those people, Anik can then implement a raid compendium which gives the necessary basics for a raid boss like in WoW. So players do not have to pick out of 50 different guides and have to Google search first for outside the game. By the way, outside the game is the worst thing you can argue with. With today's technology and MMOs, it's not 2001 anymore. We can have raid info available in-game and in UI.